Hi Aries, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is going to be a reading for the next week ahead. Um, it's whatever week you're finding it, to be honest. It doesn't have to be the date that it says down below. Um, all the normal gump and housekeeping is down below if you want to know your star chart or what deck I'm using and all that gump. Um, so yeah, let's just get down to it. So this is a read for Aries. Can I have what's happening for Aries for the week, please? That one is poking out five of coins. Feeling a bit out in the cold, isolated, a little bit poorer than you kind of hoped you would be at this point, I think. Scarcity of money coming in, Aries. Um, so keep, be frugal, be thrifty as much as you can this week. Shop within your means, even below your means, to be honest, because this could imply that harsher times are coming up. Equally, um, make sure... Um, I'm getting the weather, something about the weather, snow drifts coming in. Make sure you have the resources you need because you kind of don't want to be going out in the cold unless you really have to. Um, what else have we got? It could be with restrictions, travel restrictions and stuff going on. Here in the UK, we're not allowed to travel very far at all unless it's an essential journey. Um, that contact may be reduced for a little while you may be kept away from your family because of isolation having to isolate um or it could just be that you kind of have to stay in the house and heal because i'm getting there under their blanket trying to heal and if that's the case i really wish you a fast recovery from whatever it is that's making you poorly Okay, what else have we got for Aries this week? What else have we got for Aries? This one is popping. Five of Swords. Winning at any costs. So if this is to do with contact with a child, um, I get that you're fighting and fighting and fighting to the detriment that this infighting um, between you and the other parent is literally at the cost of the child almost at the moment. Um, If that is a contact issue if this is like just filling out in the cold resources i'm going to do it anyway because that's kind of what i want to do as kind of being selfish i'm getting breaking the rules you're kind of breaking the rules that six of cups has come up again there's a child if you look they're offering their cup to the child um so yeah i'm really getting that this could be for a um parent who has contact and at the moment you're not having contact from them um battling to win at any costs consider um how you're fighting and arguing is affecting the child because um if you look that one kind of looks like they're looking down they're kind of looking up like yes i love you and they're like that's okay i'll come to you sort of thing so um and we've got judgment coming through judgment and you've also got the empress coming out which is like uh, nurturing energy, mother mother earth, uh, nurturing energy, especially if this, is, I, I'm really getting this is to do with a child, contact issues, um, could even be a decision in court that's coming up, contact decision, um, you've got strength coming through, so obviously this is, a, <laughs> this, that's three major arcana, judgment, empress and strength, it could be, um, you go um if this is a um custody contacts arrangement i'm getting that it would probably go more towards the mother um but you've got the seven of cups coming through so there may be options that you can discuss co a compromise with different avenues to, for negotiating um whether that's so it's it's meeting um instead of going in saying no i want it this way no that's not fair no i can't do that da, 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 da. go in with um the attitude of that won't work but maybe we could consider this as an option or that as an option so it would be like if they can't get to you because that would be two lots of you traveling on the road which is kind of unnecessary um it could be well or even it could be that they meet you halfway literally meet you halfway um 
because this is an emotional i'm getting this is an emotional storm at the moment between because this is naturally what happens at the end of a re relationship you have the breakdown of the relationship and it's almost like that ferocity of that going on kind of unfortunately it means that the needs of the child and what's best for the child in contact with both parents fairly results in the child being used as a weapon and i'm not saying it's you and i'm not <laughs> i'm not saying anybody directly it's just the child is used as a weapon um or a bartering device or a power play um and it's time for that to stop basically it's time for that to stop and you've kind of got to um consider options that would benefit both people not j but mainly the child it's more important that the child and you've got the king of swords has come up and justice has come up too um so this i'm getting this is some sort of custody battle coming on the judgment is kind of come through the more flexible you look the more accommodating or not look but are um say so, well we have these instead of coming and going nope i refuse to do that come in and go that's not going to work for me because blah, 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 blah. but maybe this is an option or this or this or this come in with alternatives the more flexible and compromising you you appear to a judge um the more you're going to have them on side because when it's a two-way battle slamming against the gods slamming against each other if you're looking more giving more considering more nurturing more considering that child and more flexible are they going to go for the hard rock that keeps punching the other side or are they going to go well i'm meeting you in the middle here or do you know what i mean that there's a negotiation um element to it that can bring that on your side it's just having the strength to maintain your composure because i'm going to get you're going to be like a proper inside you're going to be raging like you want to lash at them that is really not going to be conducive to you having the outcome that you want in this situation um and again does the child want to hear about this bashing and argument do, do they want to hear that that's that's a volatile environment to have around your child and I'm getting that this might have happened to you as well when you were younger, that your parents split and there was this battlefield going on for contact and, and rights. And yeah, it broke your heart. So now you kind of have to weigh up what it is you want to do. What kind of example do you want to show them that there is a creative, flexible way out of a situation where you can find mutual ground and find something that works for everybody without compromising happiness too much it's just you are now setting the be the example you didn't have yourself basically is what i'm getting uh, let's see the universe has your back let's see if this brings out anything that helps i don't know why i have this one come through the universe has your back what card have we got aries please Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Instead of praying that you get exactly what you want, you kind of need to be aiming for something that is works out fairly for everybody in this situation. Mainly the highest good for the child or children involved. Um, okay, can I have a self-care card please for Aries? A self-care card for Aries positive affirmations and deep breathing has come through as well deep breathing so taking that deep breath before you actually um go into take i'm getting take go into battle take battle what's that mean go into battle just take a deep breath just calm yourself down be the bigger be the grown-up because I'm getting that the other person isn't acting like a grown up and that's really going against them. But because you were both acting like children, arguing over a fucking toy, <laughs> I'm literally getting arguing over a fucking toy. They're not toys, they're children, they're actual people that need to be raised. Um, so, yeah, keep going in and just keep breathing through. Be positive in the situation. Um, but again, just for yourself at home, positive affirmations and deep breathing, taking time to just center and breathe when it all feels like it's overwhelming just sit there and breathe and just remind yourself i am a good dad i am a good mum i am putting my children's welfare first the outcome will benefit everybody i will do what i can to make this fair for everybody so 
there you go um i hope that helps aries thank you so much for watching i will be back again next week but i will see you again soon bye for now